I think I'll do a the cafe latte. Four fifty nine for coffee. Uh, it could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> I'm starting to get tired of people. They're always talking about how they cannot afford to cook. Meanwhile, they're walking around with these giant cups of coffee every day. So what I did was I went to Starbucks, bought a large coffee, and calculated how much it would cost me for an entire week to drink coffee. And I took that budget and I bought a ton of food with that exact budget and made the most amazing, mind-blowing stuff. So you choose Starbucks or this. Bon me, freaking falafel, sweet potato pancakes with fried eggs, fried rice, lettuce wraps, steam wraps, pickles, hot sauce, and this is only a small portion of all the food that I made for the entire week. Come on the journey with me. Here we go. A few years ago, I did a video called How to Live on $3 a Day that went viral. People loved it. It was just showing how to eat cheap meals with a very small amount of money, kind of breaking this whole idea that cooking is expensive and takes forever. And I've been having this idea brewing recently. I wanted to see how much food you could cook a day for the price of a cup of coffee. Even though you might not be drinking a huge cup of coffee that's nearly $5 every single day, a lot of people do. So imagine what you could cook. And if you can't imagine, I'm gonna show you right now. Before I get cooking, just play a little tenisito. Get the blood running. Hanging out with Kai, you wanna be in the video? Hey. And uh, going to Sprouts, gonna see if I can spend, I feel like I have about $30 for the whole week. This is gonna be a good price. They're gonna be more expensive than your kind of like, sort of standard local market, but they're gonna be cheaper than Whole Foods. So I think it's a good balance for you guys to see what I can get. And they also have this bulk section, so I can get like, a lot of little things. Here's a great steal. Five pounds of potatoes will get me a lot. Of course I'll be having things like rice and beans and potatoes, but it's those little other things that you get, like just get a little bit of garlic and some ginger, some chilies, whatever, that really make things go Psh. All right, just did my entire shop. I spent just under $30, but I have a little bit more because with the Starbucks there's tax, with the food there really isn't any tax. All right, so here is all of the glorious freaking food that I bought. I mean, check out this insane spread of deliciousness. Just a side note, um, I have a music channel called You Enjoy Life. You can check below. I also have a podcast that goes with that. So if you're into the podcast, there's an amazing app called Anchor you can check out um, where I have a podcast. It's like, kind of like you create your own radio station. So imagine like Instagram stories, but you can make a radio station. Check that out. I've been working with them. Actually, my old drummer created the app and they're crushing it right now. Just raised a ton of money. Um, so if you want to hear me talk about food and music and life and play songs and just have fun, check that out. For me, all these challenges are just about honestly teaching you guys how to do something that maybe you don't think that you can do. So when I did the $3 a day challenge, I was kind of blown away how much I could cook. And now I'm thinking about it like, people go and they buy coffee every single day, and the amount of food that you can get for that kind of, the fact that like, if I were to get that large Starbucks every day for a week and I could get this much food, I mean, it's kind of crazy that we're buying things like that when you could eat such delicious food. What's cool about Sprouts, like I said, it's not super high end, it's not super cheap, kind of a good middle ground. I know everyone around the world has different prices for things, but the goal is go to your market, look for what's cheap. Things like are usually like cabbage and stuff, usually cheap, right? Look for the deals, look for the prices. Don't focus on just what you want, focus on what you can afford and then get creative. So what I got was five pounds of potatoes. That was like $2. Got some scallions and cilantro and ginger. That's gonna add like nice flair, nice flavor. Some onions, two bell peppers, six, ah, wow, seven bananas. So one for each day, that is amazing. I got uh, three and a half pounds of chicken thigh. That was incredible. Got some vinegar for $2. Um, freaking a dozen eggs, so I get almost two eggs a day. Sweet potato, cabbage, two carrots, some tomatoes, three cucumbers, I got some curry powder, it's gonna be great in the lentils, that was a dollar. I got this loaf of bread, so I'm gonna slice it up into slices and then freeze some of it. That's very important. Um, I'm gonna make like slice, that way I can just take it out of the freezer or the fridge. I'll kind of break it into different segments, have some frozen for later in the week, have some before. I got some apples, well almonds, which are great. I can make, uh, I mean for breakfast, but I can also make almond milk. I got lentils, a ton of lentils. I got these apples, a pear, um, five limes. A lot of brown rice. This brown rice is amazing. It's super cheap. Oats, which are gonna be freaking epic. You can make like oat pancakes out of them. I'm excited. Chickpeas, which are great, are great for beans, but also I can do lots of stuff with. Um, 
popcorn. That was like a nice little bonus. A little bit of popcorn. Had some crunch to my stuff. I need that crunch. Um, and then, of course, I got like this little trail mix mix of like, it has some peanuts in it and some different nuts and sunflower seeds and raisins. Just, just like a little extra treat because I just had a little bit extra. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making some food. Um, a lot of what you're gonna see is me cooking things in bulk. I'm gonna cook not all the rice, but a lot of rice to have for the week and cook the beans and soak the beans. And what's very important for this kind of challenge is prepping things. Like, yes, I could go one by one and make meals, but what's gonna really help me is kind of prep stuff out, make a ton of rice and beans, you know, prep some vegetables, maybe pickle something. Um, the one thing I will say, I'm not including a few basics that everyone has around that are super cheap. So we're talking salt, pepper, oil, and I might like throw in a little bit of sugar. To me, those are just like things you have. Um, of course, you can factor that into your budget if you want, but um, when I did the $3 challenge, I didn't, and it worked out super well. I'm gonna take you guys through a week of eating delicious food, give you some creative ideas. I might not show you every single meal, but you're gonna get to see a lot of amazing stuff, get some cool creativity. First thing I'm gonna do is just kind of slice the bread up, and this is a nice big loaf. Last time I did uh, tortillas, when I did a similar challenge, and, and tortillas are amazing, but I wanted to try bread just kind of give it a different sort of staple. And of course, if you want, you can always buy bulk flour, which is another great idea. And that's a great way to kind of cut down on things. But I just thought this would be cool. I'll have slices of bread every day. Um, I can also use them to make croutons for like a salad. I could use like a, a bread salad, like a panzanella salad. Um, and kind of whatever, you could do bread pudding. But also I think at the end of the day, just kind of having the ability to make sandwiches. Kind of freaking epic. Sing a song while I cut my bread and I get the crumbs everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna take some different bags, right? And this is where it gets interessante. Take these different bags here and just kind of put some slices in the different bags. This way you can freeze these little bags and they don't all freeze together. I can take one out, you know, every couple days, have like a few slices of bread. It looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty. Yeah, I have like two slices of bread a day, which I'd say is pretty dope. Okay, so to make my little egg sandwich, I'm gonna take some onion. And like I said, my first day, what I typically tend to do is make, like kind of prep some things, like soak some beans, make some rice, but it depends on the day. I like to take one day and really cook a lot. I don't want you to feel like you need to be cooking every single day all the time. A lot of it's prep. So tomorrow I'm gonna do a huge prep day, make a ton of stuff. And that way, for the week, I just get to kind of rock it out, which is gonna be really cool because it basically allows me the chance to whip up super fast meals, keep my budget, not spend any money for the week, not feel even tempted. That's a big thing. Don't feel tempted to break your budget. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of onion. Oh, my eyes are ho ho baby. A little bit of pepper, just to slice. And remember, you can save stuff. Like, I can use that onion, I'm gonna make an amazing stock of chicken bones. Oh my god. So, like, save all this stuff. Put it in a bag. Here, put it all in Ziploc bags. Don't throw it away. This is food right here. This is nutrients. This is flavor. Pan's getting hot. Boom goes in. This is a lot of onions. I might not even need all this. Like, I could just fry up a lot of onion and pepper mixture if I wanted to. Um, maybe I'll do that, right? Just to scrap a little more. That way I have this for breakfast tomorrow if I want. My little oil. These guys cooked up. Doesn't have to be pretty. It's gotta taste good. Paprika. Salt. And I'll just kind of scramble these like that. I might actually, sometimes I, it depends on making eggs, like I get kind of silly. Sometimes I might leave one whole. Just like, there's no rules with eggs. I think a lot of times people get bored. I actually did a whole video and I have a cookbook um, all about making eggs in really creative, simple ways. I'll put a link to that below too. You can check that out if you wanna check it out. Five bucks, it's an ebook. Glorious eggs. Ah, I'm just kinda of trying to like shape it into a bit of a sandwich situation. Slip it right on. And if some of it's pouring out, not a problem. I kinda of like when my egg sandwich spills out on over. Cause it's gonna spill out anyway, so why not just you know, sort of let people know. To give people a heads up, like just so you know, this egg is just gonna spill everywhere. Look at that. I'd say that is one sexy sandwich. Oh, baby. <sighs> First meal. This is this is a sloppy sandwich. I'm not pretending it's not. I don't really care, because deliciousness comes in sloppy forms. Mm. I'd take that over coffee any day. Make a little pickling solution. Got a little bit of sugar in here. Add some salt. Add vinegoska. 
And I'll do like, maybe, I wanna make a good amount of pickling solution, maybe like around half the bottle or something. I'm gonna heat this up. All you wanna do is heat it just enough to cook the vinegar a little bit, cook the sugar and the salt down, and then I'm gonna add water to kind of balance it out and cool it down, and then add in my uh, cucumbers, carrots, and cucumbers, and I'll have pickled deliciousness all week. All right, so I'm just taking all this chicken. I'm gonna salt it up, salt and pepper, oil, and on half it, I'm gonna do some cutty powder. Just get a little extra flavor, and then I'm just gonna grill it all up. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow me to have just like nice chicken for the week. And of course I could, maybe I'll save, you know, I'll save one piece in case I'm just feeling like, feeling something special coming on later. But what I can do here is I can season it, grill it, add some curry, just to, I'm gonna do like curry chicken for a few of these, not all of them. Um, because I don't necessarily want curry flavor all the time, but it is delicious. So, two curries, three knots, and um, kind of season on both sides, a little bit of oil, grill it, and then I get to use the bones to make some kind of stock, which will be delicious. And I can also use the skins if I want to make like crispy chicken skins. I right, had seasoned up, now let's grill this bizzizzle zizzle. Chicken goes on, skin side down. If you cook it skin side down, there's a little bit more protection, the fat trip. This is chicken thigh, so it's fine. By the way, this is my uh, my little yard, little fire pit. Got my little rice bowl here. I'm telling you though, these crispy potatoes. So simple, you literally just boil them in water and just let them get like nice and soft and pretty like, pretty not like super, super boiled, you don't want them mashing, but like right before a mash, then you toss them in some oil and roast them in the oven. Mm -hmm. That was the easiest, the most delicious ratio? Yes. I'm gonna pickle carrots. Chicken. When you break it down, you're looking at about like a dollar fifty a meal here, and I would say that's pretty damn good pace.